Hey, Bible lovers, this is the closing segment of my interview with the Cromwell Leather Group and Thomas Fleisch. And this is a very important subject to a lot of people, and that is the ethics behind the harvesting of skins. And what is acceptable, what isn't acceptable. When we get into exotics, how does that go? How is that managed? And why does Cromwell Leather Group do their harvesting the way they do it? I think you'll find it very interesting. Check it out. You mentioned sustainability and compliance and and all these different things to, to make sure that you're your animals are sourced ethically. Can you explain that a little more? Yeah, and, and that's a very important point. And we, we spend a lot of time controlling the whole process and we do control the whole thing, which starts with the raw material, both the cowhide, as I said, the European cattle without the, uh, without the barbed wire and without the branding. And so they, it, it's in our interest to have good leather to have, to align ourselves with people farmers, ranchers who are ethically treating those animals. The better they're treated, the better their, the leather will be. So our, our interests uh, align. And on the, on the bonded leather, they come from the same sources. So we can show that we are sustainable in a number of ways. One is that we have full traceability, both in our bonded leather and in our genuine leather, right to the cow itself. And that's very important when you ask me to compare cowhide leather with other leather, especially goatskin and why goatskin has certain disadvantages. The next question is compliance. And what does that mean? There's a few levels. One is that in our own processing, we use colorants, we use latex and so forth, that we have to be careful on handling those that the workers are using, who are using them are, are, are properly protected. And in the air and the water that comes out of our factory is properly treated in our treatment plants. So we're up to date. And since we're in Spain, we adhere to the European standards which are among the highest international standards. But that's one thing, which is the supply chain and what we're doing. Perhaps of greater importance is the product itself, the Bible. And what do we mean by it's in compliance? This is, this is, I can't emphasize this enough. There's the Consumer Product Safety Act, which is very important that it comply with that. But today, even a higher standard in, in, is what California has, and it's called California Proposition 65. And they have a long list of chemicals. Whether you agree with it or not, this is the standard. And everybody who produces Bibles wants to sell in California. And through all of our choice of our input and our chemicals that we use and all of our raw materials and our processing, we can assure that the Bibles that are made and the books that are made out of Cromwell genuine leather and Cromwell bonded leather comply with both Consumer Product Safety Act as well as importantly, California Proposition 65. Mm -hmm. And there are a number of regulations and our materials are tested by important laboratory, US-based laboratory at the University of Cincinnati to, and, and we test them at regular intervals and have reports that demonstrate that we are in compliance. And it's, it's really important that the consumer have that confidence and the publisher have that confidence that they're not gonna have a problem. Mm -hmm. it comply. And it's the same with people who make footwear leather or a automotive upholstery leather, but the standards have increased rightfully so. And everybody wants to be assured that the products that they're getting are, are safe. And you also mentioned ethics. Tell me a little bit more about that and how you get your leather from these cows. Okay. Uh, you mentioned exotics kind of being off the table because of the way they're hunted and different things. So kind of explain right. that. Right, and that's our choice of what leathers we want to offer and where we're comfortable and where we're not. Mm -hmm. So our, our cattle are mainly from the Iberian region of Europe, which encompasses Spain and Portugal, where we're located. And as I said, they are very well raised and that's the first element. But drawing back to the a larger question of what animals and what kinds of leathers we're comfortable with, for a variety of reasons, we think cattle hide, and we'll get into this, are better than other uh, animals that are the byproduct of meat production, which would mm -hmm. be pigs and sheep and goat 
and perhaps in some cases, buffalo. But the exotics, the alligator and lizard and ostrich and snake and all that, we were, we were chatting about it before. We leave that more to the folks that are in the cowboy boot field. And nothing against that, but we're just not involved in that. And we don't get into leathers that have been hunted in the wild. So, right. you know, and, and various people have different opinions about that. And I'm not here to make any statement ethically right or wrong. It's just what we decided to do and what we've decided not to do. But if you had a lizard, it would be hard to cut a book cover out of it. <laughs> and the cows that you all use, they are all meat cows, correct? Well, meat and milk. But ours are mainly meat. The dairy cows tend to be not as good for books. They tend to be kind of wrinkly because of their age. Right. Our preference is steers, not bulls, but steers that are mainly used for meat production. I don't know if we're getting so deep into it that everybody's interested, but to us it's interesting. And I think on some level it's interesting to you and to people who are consumers. And when you say, oh, that's a wonderful Bible cover and the leather is what we call very tight. It's not flanky and loose and uh, like a belly, a wrinkled belly. Um, it's because we've, we've chosen that particular type of origin from steer. Well, there you have it. The last video in my series, and I really enjoyed this interview. I hope you did too. I hope you learned a lot. And look, today there's a lot of animal skins out there that are available, and sometimes we don't know how they're harvested, but it is reassuring to know that the Cromwell Leather Group goes to great lengths to make sure that their hides are harvested ethically, and they're within code, and they're safe not only for the workers, but they're safe for the consumer as well. God bless you. Keep calm. Jesus on.